You drive. Let me try. Hey, you can see over the steering wheel. Dang, what are you going around? around? Tom Holland and Joel Kim no. star in the indie thriller Edge of Winter. Please welcome film's BAFTA award-winning director Rob Connolly this morning. Um, I, I took a chance to watch the film. I got to, I got to see the preview of it. Um, it. It builds over time. And, and welcome this morning. It's, Thank it's you so shot much. in Sudbury, just outside of Sudbury, yeah. which kind of gives it a local angle. And this is a story about a divorced dad, his two boys that kind of get into, uh, well, stranded out in the wilderness. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of these one of these things where Joel plays this character who is really a short-sighted guy who just really kind of deals with the task at hand, and he wants to connect with his boys any way that he can. And this sort of series of, of events kind of lead them to uh, what eventually gets them stranded out in the middle of nowhere. And then the boys from there have to sort of realize, you know, how have we gotten into the situation and now how do we get out of it and who do we trust and, and uh, from there it becomes a game of you know is this person who's supposed to protect us actually doing that or is he you know potentially a threat to us uh, himself and i think anybody that's a dad can kind of relate with the father yeah and you can understand the uncertainty of these two brothers as right. they're getting into the circumstance because they really don't know their father whatsoever right. absolutely and and of course, in that situation, you would want to trust your father. You assume that he's there to protect you, and he, he thinks he's doing everything that he can, of course, to, to uh, keep them safe. But his, uh, you know, throughout, as it, as it continues, like, he just keeps making sort of wrong decision after wrong decision with good intentions, but absolutely leads them down the wrong path. Let's talk about the cast. You know, when you, say, you just mentioned about Joel. Yeah. Uh, he's also noted for Toronto right now with Suicide yeah. Squad. Absolutely. I mean, he was such an incredible part of this this whole process. I mean, he's the reason this movie came together as quickly and easily as it did. We got, he had seen a short film that I had worked on um, and read the script on like a Sunday and we met on a Tuesday and then he came on board and everybody, everything else fell into place after that. And he was sort of the champion of this project all the way through. So he's working on your project, then he gets signed on to Suicide Squad, right. the squad that is, and then Tom Holland's working on your project and then all of a sudden does an audition tape for Spider-Man. Yeah, we had a, a crazy run with that where Tom, before they even had announced that they were casting for Spider-Man, had said, someday I'd like to be Spider-Man. And then maybe a week into production, we found out that they were about to start uh, casting for that. And he just immediately kept saying, I'm going to be Spider-Man. I'm going to be Spider-Man. And we all thought that was great, but <laughs> didn't really know how much that was actually a possibility. And then it, one thing kept happening after another where he kept getting called back. and. Eventually, they got, they cast him. Maybe six months later. And that's the thing about the movie itself; it builds over time. This right. movie, in the beginning, a little bit of a sleepy starter, yeah. but all of a sudden captures you with the characters themselves, and it builds. Yeah, it, it sort of sneaks up on you. It's one of these these things that's that was important to me all the way through. Where it's it's the same sort of thing that happens with these boys, where they are you know going along the way that that anybody does, living their life, and then suddenly they realize that the situation has gotten out of hand. Um, and that's that's sort of the way the film builds too. It's it's sort of slice of life and the way that, that uh, you're seeing into who these characters are for a while in the film and then suddenly you can't figure out how you got so far away from from what normal was I think. Yeah. if you're a father if you're a parent you can totally relate to this film just quickly Sudbury we have so many people watching yeah. from Sudbury what was it like shooting up there it was great it was incredibly extreme being outside in you know 40 50 degree uh, below zero trying to you know, just go through the motions of what's already a difficult process. You get so many things that are, are become more difficult with, you know, uh, equipment maybe not working as yeah. well as you want it to and things like that. Everything moves slower in the snow. So that was that was the challenge, but the crew was great and uh, everybody up there was amazing yeah, to work amazing with. Amazing job, by the way. It's Thank a you great so much. Film, by the way. And you can catch Edge of Winter. It's going to be at the Carlton uh, Cinema. It starts on August the 18th. For more information, you go to our website right here. Once again, thank you for great. coming this morning. Thank you. We'll take a break from Breakfast Health and still lots more to come.